expect the unexpected hey guys vimal here and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be super interesting and you might have already guessed that by looking at the video's title so we will be talking about a brand new competitor in the gpu segment guys obviously intel everybody knows intel has recently unveiled their all new arc series gpus right so especially people have been like eagerly waiting for these gpus to drop in the market including me you know because intel is showing quite a bit of promise with these gpus so before actually getting to that point now let me just quickly ask you a question like you know till now only two brands dominantly speaking were making gpus even in 2022 team red and team green why other brands could never come into this market there is actually so much of depth behind this subject guys and if you people are like interested i can actually make like a separate video and talk about this topic let me know in the comment section and i'll think about that today we'll be not speaking anything about that because you know i want to strictly uh, stick to this topic only so anyways coming back this is basically what we'll be talking about guys i'll give you guys like an insight on intel's arc gpus i'll tell you about the performance pricing and basically what you can expect from this uh, new gpus and this can actually be like very useful for you and help you decide whether you should buy a gpu right now or should you wait for these new intel gpus to drop in the market anyways you might have already known this project was started a couple of years ago and finally during ces 2022 intel has unveiled their arc series gpus but unfortunately they were not ready with their desktop arc variant gpu so they only unveiled like the mobile variant gpus mobile variant matlab you know gpus made for laptops and they said that desktop variants will be coming over some break maybe around june or july something like that so we'll first talk about the mobile variant gpus guys and then we'll get over to the desktop variants in the mobile variant gpus also you have like three different categories intel introduced something known as arc 3 series arc 5 series and arc 7 series also so basically arc 3 series are made for like budget category affordable laptops or like ultra thin slim notebooks and these sort of stuff and arc 5 for the mid variants and arc 7 for like uh, you know top of the line flagship level gaming laptops you know premium laptops and these sort of stuff so again if you talk about the architecture these arc gpus are based on tsmc's n6 node now you might be quite familiar with this right let me see how many people can actually say which existing gpu uses the same process in the comment section down below now coming back to arc 3 laptops surprisingly these arc 3 powered intel laptops are already available in the market guys you might not know uh, they're not available in the indian market market as of now but they're already available for purchase and also pre-order some models in us and uk and people are actually getting their hands on this thing now intel did give us some insights on the performance and benchmarks and they're saying that arc 3 graphics are gonna offer you like a consistent 1080p 60 gaming guys now again as i've told you these are made for like affordable category and ultra thin notebooks and these sort of stuff right so this is the kind of performance you can expect over there again arc 3 will be like great greatly much more better than intel iris xe or any built-in graphics so this is something you can definitely expect guys almost like double the performance but again this is something that we'll have to see in real world once i get my hands on this laptop then only i'll be able to give you like my real feedback that is something we'll have to wait and see and coming to arc 5 and arc 7 these are not yet available guys they are still in production and manufacturing and but not to worry date is not too far away also we'll get to see them very soon more probably like june or july so that is the rough estimated date given by intel now if you ask about the performance intel's arc 7 is going to be their flagship series gpus and you know comes with like up to 16 gb of vram and you can expect performance that lines up with rtx 3080 ti so that is the kind of performance you can expect from over here so pretty excited guys to get my hands on these powered laptops and finally moving on and talking about the desktop variants see initially by now the card should have been in the market but unfortunately intel has faced some issues with the management and because of that they had to postpone this whole thing for a couple of months guys so initially they said that these desktop cards would be available by summer time around april but now april is also over and may 1st is starting tomorrow so we might get to see these cards maybe by july or august that is what i'm expecting globally but again if they want to hit to the indian market then i'm pretty sure it will be almost like maybe september or something guys we can't say we'll have to wait and see 
Anyways, coming back guys, so there is not much of information available on the desktop variant of Arc GPUs. We only have like slight info on like mobile variants which I've already told you. And apart from that, here are a couple of things I can actually give you insight on. So these brand new Intel Arc GPUs will support Intel's deep linker technology guys. Now this offers like enhanced performance in resource intensive applications like maybe Adobe Photoshop, Premiere Pro or some creative sort of applications or maybe like Handbrake also. Now there you'll get like much more enhanced performance when you link these ARC GPUs with 12th gen CPUs. So this is something new we get to see and as usual guys just to give like a competition to Nvidia and AMD we also have something known as XCSS over here. You people know DLSS over there right deep learning super sampling. So something similar to that Intel will offer XCSS guys their XC variant of super sampling that will offer you like greatly improved frame rates at high resolution without compromising image quality. And apart from that, these brand new Arc GPUs will also support Vulkan ray tracing as well. So these are some good things you can expect. And apart from that, talking about performance, I've already told you, right, their Arc 7 flagship series GPUs will go in line and match up with 3080 Ti level of performance. So that is what you can expect over here. But here are a few things you'll have to keep in mind. Since Intel is like a new player in the GPU segment, right, their graphic cards will be new and their drivers will also be new. So you might have to take into consideration of compatibility and optimization guys because these GPUs will be like new for your PC, new for your operating system and new for game developers also. They'll have to optimize the games and you know made compatible with these brand new Intel GPUs. So everything will take time guys. Right now out of the box you might not get like great or extraordinary results or you know compare it with the existing Nvidia or Team Red side GPUs but eventually Intel will be releasing brand new drivers on a constant basis and they did say that they'll work work closely with the game developers and optimize all the newly major AAA title games so you can get to experience like good gaming but again this might take some time and along with that in their drivers they did mention that they'll be including support for recording and streaming services as well so they are targeting you know streamers and content creators as well with these brand new GPUs again this is something we'll have to wait and look forward to. So that is pretty much it guys, complete info right now that is available on Intel's brand new Arc GPUs, both the mobile variants and desktop variants. There is not much of info available on the desktop variant guys, we'll have to wait and see. And apart from that, my assumption is that you know Intel will be giving all these details pretty soon guys, mostly by June or July. Uh, this is my insider date. I'll keep you guys posted on all the complete information as soon as I get them. And talking about the pricing, as I've told you, Intel will definitely go aggressive this time and, you know, price their GPUs very competitively because they're brand new in the market, right? To attract consumers or customers, they'll have to, you know, utilize this strategy to be effective. But for a rough idea, nah, their Intel's Arc 7 flagship desktop variant GPUs might be priced somewhere around like $600 to $700, guys. This is the, what the rumors say. We'll have to wait and see. So what do you people think about Intel's brand new Arc series graphic cards? Let me know your thoughts also in the comment section down below guys. So that is pretty much it. I hope you all enjoyed watching the video and got to learn a lot about these brand new products. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you all in my next one.